Mercia, Stairway to Heaven. Stairway to Heaven, Mercia. I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway, but more, much more than this, I did it my way. Frank Sinatra, My Way. I love this song. And it's a bit sad, yes, but I love it, and I want that by the end of my life, every word from this song will fit me. This is how I want to live my life. And I know how. Every, as I said previously, a few hours ago, life is about chances. When a chance appears, you just have to take. Why? Because a chance taken will lead you one step farther on the stairway of life. You may call it stairway of development. I would prefer to call it stairway to heaven. And there were a lot of steps which I've taken on this stairway in the last couple of years, especially with Toastmasters. But I want to refer to the first, very first <coughs> step that there was 19 years ago. It was the first step in public speaking that I had. And I was in the first grade. I was living in a village, so practically we were 27 kids in the first four grades in one classroom with one teacher. So imagine the madness there. But anyway, we were having a Christmas celebration and I had to say a poem of uh, 12 lines. Well, you can imagine, a lot of parents and a lot of uh, villagers, <coughs> the priests of the village and so on, they were all there, crowded in a room, something like four times bigger than this. All my colleagues and I were standing on a stage. Out of that poem, I managed to say four of the lines. Afterwards, I stopped, got stuck. It was a shameful silence of 30 seconds until the teacher realized what happened to me. I was completely blank. I didn't know what's next. So uh, the teacher passed on the word to someone else. What's next? And that was my first failure in public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Many others followed, of course. I remember that uh, I moved to the city with my parents. I was, five, uh, I was in the fifth grade. There were 32 in the classroom, and I was frightened by the teachers every time I had to say the lesson. I remember the baccalaureate, where again I uh, was terrified. And then the English classes, where I had to do presentation in English. Shaky hands, trembling voice, problem with the knees, sweating. And then was the moment when I realized I have to stop climbing the stair, step by step, but start running on it run on the stairway. <coughs> and this is what I did. Every chance that I had, I took it. It was quite painful sometimes, because I said, why the hell did I do it? God damn it, no. But I kept on going, and uh, I coordinated projects, I learned how to deliver trainings, made presentations, a lot of them, and then all of a sudden, I remember a moment in the faculty, I was in the last year, and we were four uh, colleagues working on a project. And there, no one wanted to present. Because I will work on it, but I just don't want to present. And I said, oh my god, that's awesome, I want to do it. You work, I will go and present. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what it happened. I realized that it was an awesome feeling after all those years. And thing is, looking back at these small steps that I've taken and looking around the world, life is full of adventures. And in our closed mind, we want to have <coughs> adventures like uh, Ulysses had, or Hercules had, or Indiana Jones had. My God, so much excitement there, so many things, adventures to do, quests to be done. 
But actually, the world changed a bit, and our adventures are not like that anymore. Our adventures are now public speaking, taking leadership, and so many others. And I would kindly ask you to think from the adventure point of view on this. And in the end, I hope to take, I hope that you will take the adventures that are shown and contribute the chances to do it your way and I hope to see you in heaven. Thank you. <laughs>